Hello and welcome to today's broadcast. Friends, we want to celebrate with the families of the hostages that have been released from Hamas militants in Gaza. And even though it is bittersweet and there has been so much loss of life in this war, but it is very good to stop and to, to praise God and to thank God together. Um, it's good to give glory to the Lord of hosts for each hostage that has been released. And if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, then you can also sense the nearness of the Lord Jesus return. And I also sense a very strong retaliation coming against the USA for its support of Israel, unlike anything we have ever seen before. And we do need to also be in prayer for protection from the numerous terrorist cell groups that are here in the USA. So body of Christ, this is no time for routine five minute prayers, dashing one, you know, in between your different venues during the day in the car. We need to be in continual state of prayer and fasting because the darkness is ramping up. And I don't think we have seen anything yet. I believe a worse than 9-11 is coming to the USA, and it will shake the foundation of our nation. So let's be engaged in prayer with the throne of God. Be, let's just lay out before the throne of God in reverential fear and honor of him, and let's pour out our hearts in this matter. Now, according to Al Jazeera News, there are more than 200 believed hostages still remaining in Gaza since the attacks inside Israel on October 7th. Hamas said the attacks that killed more than 1,400 Israelis had two purposes. Number one, aimed at ending Israeli violations at the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound, which is Islam's third most holy site right there in Jerusalem. And number two, to secure the release of hundreds of Palestinians located in Israeli prisons. And they are actually arresting over 100, 120 Palestinians per day. Now, since then, Israel has been pounding Gaza with nonstop aerial strikes, killing about 5,800, including almost 2,360 children. And they are, the Israeli forces are preparing for their big ground offensive. So I want to go over who are the captives. I want to cover this as a point of prayer today for the body of Christ. The latest figure given by Israel's military on Monday was 222, including military personnel. Hamas reported more than 20 captives have been killed by Israeli airstrikes. And according to the British Prime Minister, the murdered and missing come from over 30 countries, including the United Kingdom. Israeli authorities have not publicly named the captives thus far, but a considerable number are believed to be military officers. And some are believed to be children and the elderly. The images are all over the internet for you to see their precious faces. At least 10 U.S. citizens are still unaccounted for and are believed to be held in Gaza, according to officials. Now, we, we thank the Lord for this. Two U.S. nationals were released on Friday after Qatari mediation. Now, Thailand believes it has 17 of their people, uh, and Germany at least eight. Eight Germans, 17 Thailandese held as hostages by Gaza. Seven British nationals and seven French citizens are still classified as missing, and some are believed to be held captive. Argentina and the Netherlands, they said they also have citizens held in Gaza. Now take a look at this picture. This is a picture of Jokoved Lifshitz, 85-year-old grandma, and she is smiling a bittersweet smile after being released from a hospital in Tel Aviv yesterday. And this is the elderly lady who described the Hamas underground tunnels like spider webs. 
Now, who has been released thus far? There's been four people. Let me just go through these again. Last Friday, a mother and daughter from Chicago. They also hold Israeli citizenship. They were released. Keep them in your prayers for emotional healing. 17-year-old Natalie Ra'anan and her mother Judith, the mom was 59 years old. They were transported to Egypt through the Rafa crossing with the help of International Committee of the Red Cross. Now, they met Israeli security forces there in Egypt, and they were transferred to a military base in Israel to be reunited with their family. Qatari and Egyptian mediation, that led to the release of two more hostages, two elderly Israeli women. That was late yesterday. And I told you about Yokovid lift sheets, and now you have Nurit Cooper. Both of their husbands remain captives. I cannot imagine what is going through their, their minds right now. Uh, Israeli media have reported that Hamas may be on the verge of releasing more than 50 captives as advanced talks are held with Israel, which had said as it ramped up its bombing campaign, it would not talk with the terrorist organization. So friends, I would like to, with you, come before the Lord and let us pray together as the body of Christ over these hostages. All right, let's bow our heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves before your mighty throne of grace, Lord. We come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we acknowledge you as the one true King of Israel and the one who is worthy of all of our praise. Lord, we humbly ask for you to pour out your, your spirit on all of these hostages to reveal yourself to them and to give them the opportunity to come to you with all of their hearts, Lord. May your presence be with them there in captivity, with them in the darkest moments of their lives. And even those two husbands of the elderly ladies who were just released, Lord, we mourn with those who mourn. That is how you ask us to operate as the body of Christ. Lord, we ask you to bring comfort to all of the families whose hearts are in agony and are uncertain what tomorrow holds for their loved ones. Hold their hands, Lord, each and every day and make your yourself, uh, make your presence known to them as well. And we do pray for all of the hostages to be released, Lord, every single one of them. And may you move mightily in this hour of desperation. And we do pray, Lord, ultimately for your will to be done on the earth as it is in this heaven, as it is in heaven. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friends, thank you for praying with me here. And we, we bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And let's band together. Let's be a mighty army of intercessors for those who really need our prayers at this time. We'll talk to you again real soon.